right. Bom dia, mis amigos. All right, today I'm going to talk about uh, Isaiah 65. A friend of mine last night asked me to talk about this and address specifically verse 20 where it says there shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that has not filled his days for the child shall die in a hundred years old but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed all right and so you know, I've heard other people talk about this, and um, I don't remember specifically anything at all, but I'll just go out and tell you, it, 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 there's no seven-year tribulation in the Bible anywhere at all. This is certainly not talking about it, nor is there a thousand-year reign of Jesus. That's not in the Bible anywhere at all. Okay, so I think some of the concern might be that, well, this is talking about eternal life, and then in reference to eternal life, it says that the child shall die in 100 years old. Well, that's a problem because in eternal life, we live forever. We don't die. All right, so then let me break this down for you to make it real easy. So first of all, um, let me start just by reading this portion. Okay, so I'll start here at verse 17. For behold... I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered, nor come into mind. But be ye glad and rejoice forever in that which I create. For behold, I create Jerusalem a rejoicing, and her people a joy. And I will rejoice in Jerusalem, and joy in my people. And the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her, nor the voice of crying now real quickly let me go to draw a parallel verse for you to make a you know to connect a dot here in revelation 21 verse 4 it says and god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain for the former things are passed away all right so that's a direct parallel with what we're reading here in isaiah 65 all right where it says the voice of weeping shall be no more heard in her nor the voice of crying god shall wipe away all tears from their eyes neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain all right there shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that has not filled his days for the child shall die in a hundred years old but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed and they shall build houses and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat for as the days of a tree are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands they shall not labor in vain nor bring forth for trouble for they are the seed of the blessed of the Lord and their offspring with them and it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. The wolf and the lamb shall feed together, and the lion shall eat straw like the bullock, and dust shall be the serpent's meat. They shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, saith the Lord. Now again, I want to just remind you real quickly, they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain saith the Lord Revelation 21 and there shall be no more pain neither shall there be any more pain they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain saith the Lord so what about this specifically in Isaiah 65 verse 20 
So let me try to make this real simple and just I'll what I'll do is I'll give you uh, how I see it okay and hopefully you can see it as well. So this is definitely in reference to eternal life when God creates a new heavens and a new earth shouldn't be any doubt about it no dispute about that and then there should be no dispute about the fact that there will be no more death in the life to come all right in the life hereafter in the eternal life after we are transformed into our glorified body there will be no more death that's got to be an established fact you have to establish that fact first. That's very, very important. So now that we've established that, in, I mean right here, in Revelation 21, there shall be no more death. All right, so we establish that fact. There is no more death. So this cannot contradict the Bible at all, and it doesn't. So... I say all that because you have to you have to know you have to know there is no more death in the life to come all right so let's read it again there shall be no more thence in infinite days nor an old man that has filled his days okay so there shall be no more an infant of days means you know it's like in our life right now there is an infant of days where we are born from our mother's womb and you know we spend a couple of years as an infant right and so there's no more of that right and it's just like um, you know gee what Jesus says is that uh, in the resurrection they shall neither marry nor be given in marriage but they shall be as the angels of heaven there is no more sex in the life to come hereafter just like what we read in first John chapter 2 the world and the lust of the world comes to an end alright forgive me I butchered that terrible but it's it's there first John chapter 2 for all that is in the world the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the father but is of the world and the world passes away in the lust thereof but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever all right so there is no more sex there is no more having babies there is no more getting married and giving your daughter in marriage no no more of that so and that's what this is referring to there shall be no more thence an infant of days nor an old man that has not filled his days all right, so you think of, uh, you know, like in today's world, the life that we're living now, um, there's an old, you know, like I'll call myself an old man. Uh, many other people called me an old man. I don't agree with them, but let's just call me an old man just for the sake of argument. All right, so I haven't filled my days yet. I still got some days to go. I hope. So, in this present world, I am an old man that has not filled my days. All right, so there's got not going to be any more of that. There shall be no more thence in infinite days, nor an old man that has not filled his days. Okay, and then... Uh, what do we call this here? Colon? Semicolon? I, I don't I don't know terminology. A colon. Okay. So notice we got a colon here. This is like separating this section from what we're reading here. Or you could consider it, I guess, an extension or a continuation uh, in relation to what was just written. But whatever. However you want to look at it. But I just want to note <clears throat> that there's a difference here between what's written here 
and then what's written down here. For the child shall die in a hundred years old, but the sinner being a hundred years old shall be accursed. Now this bottom part here cannot be in reference to eternal life. That's an absolute established fact that there is no more death in the life to come hereafter. So it cannot mean that. No matter how much you don't understand this, it cannot mean a child is going to die in the life to come hereafter. All right, so this can only mean that this is referring to the life that we're living in right now. Just like what we read up here about the infant of days and the old man that has not yet filled his days. And so this has to be in reference to right now where the child dies and 100 years old right now, but the sinner being 100 years old shall be accursed right now. All right, so two things here. Uh, the child shall die. That's not going to happen in the life to come hereafter. And in the life to come hereafter, there cannot be any more sinners. We read this all throughout the Bible. There is no more sin in the life to come hereafter. So this can only be in reference to the life right now. And the life right now, the child that shall die in 100 years old, is the child of God. So when we are saved, when we are born of God, we are the children of God. All right, and then the sinner also represents the unsaved. All right, so the child is a child of God and God will not impute sin upon that child upon his own child but the sinner who is not saved is cursed all right does that make sense I mean hopefully I didn't complicate that too much but you have to establish absolute facts that the Bible is the Word of God and therefore you have to conclude that there is no contradiction in the Bible and this is a matter of faith really you have to have faith that these are the true words of God and this this is the perfect pure Word of God all right you're and the problem a lot of people have is that they want to believe this is just um, how do you say it uh, this is just a sort of a summary of what God is saying and we have to detect what the true meaning is and that's not true at all these are the direct words of God they're from God to you and they tell us very clearly and very plainly now we have to take the Word of God and have faith in it and then of course um, once we have faith in the Word of God then comes understanding All right, you don't have understanding and then faith in the Word of God you have to first have faith without faith you cannot understand alright so that's key to everything and that is faith alright hopefully that's I didn't complicate this too much but uh, make no mistake about it this is in a general reference to eternal life no question about it where they shall build houses and inhabit them and they shall plant vineyards and eat the fruit of them they shall not build and another inhabit they shall not plant and another eat as for and for as the days of a tree are the people are the days of my people and mine elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands this is in reference into the uh, the life to come right now uh, we live in a world where we build and another habits where we plant and another eat well in the life to come hereafter that will no longer be the case right so in the life that we live right now there are an infinite of days and there are old men that have not filled their days right and there are uh, children 
of God that die in 100 years old and sinners that are 100 years old that are cursed. There's a difference uh, between the world that we're living in now and the world that is to come. All right, you have any questions, comments, let me know. Appreciate it. Have a good day.